Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me. Uh, today I've been playing with uh, one of the mini pizza boxes that's in the autumn winter catalogue. These are really super useful. They are um, a lovely size for, for gifting but they're also very handy for storing small items in. So uh, yeah, I hope they're going to be around for a long time but I'm going to be stocking up just in case they're not. Now um, in the past I've shown you how I've, uh, how I've coloured one of the boxes and of course you can uh, quite easily wrap a belly band around there to uh, to decorate it but today as you can see I've been uh, doing some heat embossing on it so uh, stay with me and I'll show you how I got on. So here's what I'm using today uh, one of the mini pizza boxes, uh, Versamark ink and gold and silver embossing powder and cheers to the year. First of all I'm going to go over my pizza box surface with my embossing buddy okay all right and then I'm going to ink up my stamps in Versamark and I'm going to uh, do a, a bit at a time and a color at a time okay so uh, I will be turning the sound down giving you some music to listen to uh, when I'm stamping I need to remember that this is going to be the top surface of the box so I want this to be uh, well covered with images. These are going to be the the sides uh, that you're going to see. This is going to be the base, you're not going to see that so much, all right? So I'm going to be concentrating my stamping on the bits that are going to be visible, all right? So uh, got my Versamark ink, got my, uh, my stamp, and um, off I go. Okay, so I think that's about as much heat embossing as I want to do. Now, uh, the problem, of course, with Versamark is that it is clear. And in this area here, I did actually um, over stamp a bit. So I, I wound up getting one snowflake on top of the other. Um, so I've kind of left it there as a sort of little ghost effect. Um, but, you know, it, you might want to take a little bit more care than I've done. So all I have to do now is to assemble my box. And uh, as you can see, it did start to warp when we first heated it, but just be brave, carry on, and it's, uh, it's lying nice and flat now. So all I have to do is to bring these pieces up like that. This piece comes over the front and clicks in to uh, those little cut-out slots. And this bit comes and over the top and sits inside and there you go there is my heat embossed mini pizza box so there it is the, the finished item and uh, I think I made it look uh, much more difficult than it really really was when you're when you're not trying to keep your head out of shot uh, I think you will probably find it a great deal easier than I did so there is my uh, heat embossed uh, pizza box and I do you know what I'm really pleased with the way that this surface takes the uh, takes the ink and the embossing powder it worked out really well uh, now while I've got this box here somebody uh, did ask on uh, a Facebook forum that I belong to whether or not the um, you could put the boxes through a gold press and foil and uh, I have a gold press and foil it's not a stamping up product so uh, I don't generally demonstrate it here but I thought oh that's a good idea I wonder if it works so I went and tried it and uh, yeah it does I don't know how well you can see that I used um, one of our uh, stamping up um, I'm just trying to think of the word thinlets that's the word uh, to, to get the pattern and some uh, some blue foil and I 
can I show you yet? You think you can see there? But uh, yeah, it came out really, really well. So, uh, and I'm using that one to store some of my earrings. So uh, that is it for today. Thank you for staying with me to the very end of the other uh, video. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Would love it if you came back and saw me again soon. Click the like button, left me a comment, or even subscribe to the channel. That would be very, very nice indeed. Uh, but for now, that's it for today. So see you again soon. Bye-bye.